Thank you for joining us today, uh, Roland van Veenen, the CEO of PPC. Um, we would like to ask you a few questions um, about how you've been experiencing the past few months, um, specifically a little bit about how COVID-19 has affected PPC and your business operations. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. Thanks. So, first of all, thanks for having me, Tracy. Pleasure to be with uh, captains of concrete and industry. Um, COVID, you know, it's in the last few months, it's almost already a year. Hey, So for us, I think the first time we started seriously looking at COVID was last year, early March. Um, and we formulated three main objectives, which uh, we've kept through. Number one, to keep the people as safe as possible, so reduce the risk of spread. Um, the second one was to keep the economy going in the countries where we're working in. Could you also just tell us more broadly challenges in the cement and concrete production industry? So beyond uh, COVID-19, just generally, um, what are the challenges that PPC is experiencing? Sure. Um, I think you can split it in, in different levels. If, if we look at the, let's call it the micro level, a country level, there are different challenges in different countries where we, where we operate. Um, of course, our largest country, South Africa, um, has an overcapacity, um, has importation coming into the market, has a high unemployment. Um, so these are all elements that for us are, are very important to look at. And if you think about the cement industry, it is actually a very important part of any country to self-sustain in its cement production, uh, to build the infrastructure that is needed, the schools, the hospitals, the roads. And um, what we are trying to make very clear to the government in South Africa, but also to governments in other countries where we operate, is that that local manufacturing is, is crucial, not just for the job generation, but also to make sure that you are continuously independent uh, and have locally manufactured products. And actually we pride ourselves in being 100% locally manufactured uh, cement producer throughout the countries where we operate. If you look at it a bit more in a, in a more generic way, of course, the, the challenges that the cement industry has is our role in sustainability, uh, climate change. Um, you know, a company like PPC that is in existence for 128, 129 years um, has had sustainability always um, very high in its value in its values. Otherwise, we wouldn't have survived. Mm. Um, a company like PPC operates in in remote rural areas. Uh, we do recognize the environmental impact that we have already over many years. Mm. But things are changing, and it comes more and more on the foreground. And as you well know, uh, but maybe not all the listeners, the cement industry has one big advantage actually in all of this. In terms of solid waste, uh, we do not produce solid waste. Um, so we use all the input materials and we convert them in output materials. Now, having said that, of course, we do generate um, non-solid waste, specifically the, the greenhouse gases that are released during the production process. And there we still have a long way to go. Um, I think the operators in, in Africa, PPC included, still have a long way to go uh, by introducing technologies that are already well known uh, in other countries. Think about the use of alternative fuels um, to convert waste, normal household waste in, in fuel streams is not well developed in our countries. And th those are areas where PPC um, is on the foreground. Um, of course, our membership um, into the World Cement Association gives us access to other cement producers um, who are willing to share some of the technology. Um, we are talking at the moment, you know, to be very concrete, um, on introducing a very innovative uh, way of introducing uh, carbon dioxide into concrete. Um, also a technology that is widely applied in uh, Canada and the United States, other parts of the world. We'd like to bring that into Africa. Um, and I think those are, are just examples where, you know, a company like PPC um, recognizes its responsibility and is willing to contribute to the solutions uh, in society. It's very interesting. I think the, the concern of overcapacity and, of course, the, the carbon emissions in the industry has been a common theme in, the, in this leader series. So um, it's, I suppose, it's definitely something that needs to be addressed globally and regionally. Um, conversely, no, conversely to the issue, would you say there are any um, particular opportunities that, um, that have arisen either out of the, the previous situation or our current situation or anything that's on the radar? Well, you know, if you look at, at developing countries and, and Africa is, of course, the example of a developing continent, um, the, the opportunities are plenty. Um, if you just 
look at, at South Africa, where probably one out of four uh, people are living in informal settlements. Um, if you see what COVID-19 has further brought to the attention is the absolute need uh, for proper housing solutions. Mm. Now in that space, um, the cement and concrete industry plays a significant role. Mm. So in terms of the opportunity, um, I think there's plenty of opportunity. The, the big question that I think companies like PPC have to ask themselves is how can we introduce some of the more innovative ideas that might already be applied elsewhere in the world to almost you know, jump over a certain um, step in the development. If you look at you know, what happened in the, in the telephone, uh, telephonic industry where you know, Africa was known to skip landlines and go directly to mobile uh, technology. You know, can we do something similar in, in cement and concrete that we don't go through the same evolution mm. as the Europeans, uh, for example, have gone through, but immediately go to the next level? I think those are some of the exciting challenges that we have in front of us. Yeah, they could also almost take advantage of the groundwork that has, done, um, has been done elsewhere um, so that you can skip those steps, which I suppose brings me to my next yeah. question. Um, it's about the fourth industrial revolution um, and how PPC is either embracing or adopting new technology um, and um, systems and automations, etc. Can you tell us about that? Now, the employment opportunities that are provided through the manufacturing sector um, or the construction sector in the broader sense and the impact that the new technologies have on the levels of employment and upskilling is something that uh, we keep very close to our heart. And, you know, we look at it also very carefully that we make sure that, yes, on the one hand, we have to be competitive, but on the other hand, we also have a social responsibility in the communities where we, where we operate. And I think, you know, as a, um, as a leader in our industry, we have to come up with solutions that take care of both implementing new technologies that become available, but also consider at the same time the timely upskilling um, of the workforce in our uh, in our plants and around our, our plants mm. to make sure that we provide opportunities for people um, to do meaningful work um, and not become you know simply chasing only productivity 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 it's it's slightly more complex than uh, than that having said that you know the the opportunities out of digital are of course tremendous and again if you look at mobile technology ordering via your mobile phone and app if I look at what our colleagues in Zimbabwe did, um, where, as you know, there's quite a lot of um, foreign currency coming into Zimbabwe from Zimbabweans that work outside of uh, the country. Um, and we have developed mobile solutions. That mobile phone. These are just you know, a few examples of, of technologies that, um, that we're looking at. Mm. That's very interesting. Um, my last question, I suppose, to do with the cement and concrete production is, um, are there any specific regional factors very particular to South Africa or Southern Africa that affect the operations of PPC? Um, yeah, well, in some instances, we would like that um, the, let's call it the regulatory framework evolves. Um, and what I mean with that is if we look, for example, at the opportunities to um, use waste streams as an alternative fuels, that obviously comes with a certain capital outlay on our side. Um, if on the other side, there is no regulation that prohibits the dumping um, of those waste uh, streams in, in various dumps, you know, there is no attractiveness for, for the business model to fly. Because at the end of the day, you know, if you talk sustainability, you do need to balance the people aspect, the planet aspect, but also the profitability of your organization. Mm -hmm. So that is one area that, um, that I think we are, contrary to what some people believe, we're actually trying to push governments to put these kind of regulations in place mm -hmm. so that you have the, the right balance when you implement these measures. Is the lack of infrastructure. Um, so obviously our product travels um, over distances. If you look at a country like the DRC, um, where you want to bring your cement in the, the eastern part of the DRC, whereas your production is in the western part, you're talking about thousands of kilometers, you know, where you literally go from a truck to a waterway uh, to a motorbike uh, to bring your bag of cement in a rural area. Um, and that, you know, those are challenges that sometimes, for those of us, including myself, who come from a Western European background, you're not even thinking about. And I think that shows you the, also the opportunity in these countries to further develop the infrastructure.
Yeah, lots to consider. Um, lastly, um, Roland, when you're not thinking about cement production, um, what do you like to do in your spare time? Can you tell us a little bit about the man behind the machine? The man behind the machine? Um, I, I personally, I, I like to, to be out in nature. So in that sense, being in South Africa is, uh, is certainly a blessing. And there's plenty of that. I do like to enjoy a very good meal, a good glass of wine, you know, a really good book. Um, I used to be a hobby pilot, um, which unfortunately COVID-19 has prohibited me to do for the last 12 months. So my license is way, 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 way expired by now. Mm -hmm. Scuba diving, um, you know, various things that keep me active, um, both physically as well as mentally. Very interesting. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on the Captains of Cement and Concrete Leader Series. And um, well, we hope to hear from you again soon. Thanks so much.